one is Eloy from uh, Pinoy Crafted. So this video is going to be an unboxing of what I had mentioned in my uh, previous uh, videos that uh, I just bought this um, Premier by Conso. It's an electric servo motor. So it is going to replace that beast of a clutch motor right there on my uh, Conso Model 200. So I bought this from Amazon a few days ago and it arrived in the mail uh, uh, today. And uh, this is an unboxing. So I got this for about $114 uh, before tax and I got free shipping. Shipped in uh, like three days maybe. So it looks like it's from uh, Michigan or Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, St. Louis. From uh, shipped from uh, Missouri and then to Las Vegas and then on to uh, to here. So let's do this. So uh, I was expecting it to be a lot bigger. It's not that heavy either. Uh, they said it's about uh, about ten kilos. So it's about twenty two pounds. I don't know. Either I'm strong or <laughs> it's not it's not that heavy. It's it's not as heavy. I don't think I'm strong. Now let's see. It's a lot of tape. I think uh, this might have been a return or somebody had opened it. Then just retape it again. So, yeah, somebody had opened it before. This is. This must have been a return. Hope it's okay. Oh, looks okay. It's a brushless motor user, user manual. And it's Chinese and English. So there's supposed to be one uh, M8 flat gasket. All of it's list, listed in there. So that's it. And then this is the uh, front. Speed settings. Speed will appear on screen when switch on motor, press button. Hmm. Okay. You can barely see it. Wow. I got these handy dandy whatchamabobber thing. Oops, there goes the instructions. Yeah, this looks like they're still in the package. So hmm. Mm, yeah, heavy duty stuff, huh? Oh. Yeah, it's a, uh, looks like it's a, uh, a belt cover, belt thread cover, styrofoam still intact, drum roll please. Wow, you get the motor, let's see, is it a three prong plug? Huh, it looks like it's a multi prong. Seventy-five millimeter. Hope I didn't break it by doing that. Shouldn't. Supposedly, uh, you don't have. To, I don't have to uh, do anything else to my console uh, sewing machine. So, uh, watch my bobber. Think I'm a bobby thingy. <laughs> I, don't know these, I don't know what these things are called. So. That's uh, looks like it's about three parts. I like that. Not a lot of parts to work with. So then, whoa, anything else in there? Yeah, that's it. So yeah, so there's a uh, controller. Wow. There's a controller. It's got a little button. I'll turn it on. There's the uh, little uh, thing they're talking about. And it's a three prong plug. Three parts. And the other accessories. So that's what I got. And so that's the unboxing. It's going to be a short video. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and install it. And then I'm actually going to compare the servo 
and uh, the uh, the uh, beast over there, the uh, clutch motor. So stay tuned. Uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, let's try installing this. Uh, it's going to be uh, time lapse. For this inst uninstall install, I needed a Phillips head screwdriver, a regular screwdriver, and you might as well bring a whole tray of 3 8 sockets for the socket wrench, uh, open end wrenches, needle nose pliers, drill with a 1 16th inch drill bit. when in actuality they are washers. For my installation I needed an extra two. Since it looks like I have all the parts so let's try installing this thing again. And off I go to complete the install. But it turns out I will need one more part to get this thing finished. Well, with all that sweating, the fan belt's too long. So, I hope I find one in my garage, but I doubt it. Although I think it might be, I might have one. So this fan belt was 44 inches and it turns out I needed a 41 inch. So I went to my local auto parts and got a utility belt that was 41 inches and it fit perfect. <laughs> 